Hey, everybody. We're going to a desert this time. Oh, boy. I forgot to bring water. Oh, jeez. We're in trouble. I've never been to one, so tell... So tell me, like, all your opinions about deserts. Um, well, I think, first and foremost, it should be said, I hate sand. It's mm. pretty coarse mm. and rough, I think. Yeah, it kind of gets everywhere. Ugh. All right, but consider the alternatives. Dirt, mud, slime. I do think I prefer sand over those Sand things. is competitive. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sand, sand is the top tier in the meta. Well, you take that. But then, you know, you get sand in your bed, and you would rather have mud in your bed at that point, because that doesn't fuck with you when you try to sleep. I'd rather be sleeping in a swamp, you're right. It's more complicated than I thought. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I, I lived on the beach a ton of this, as a kid, like in the summer. Let me tell you, the swamp, now nah, that's the life, baby. <laughs> it's humid, it's gross, Trek's there, it's great. I don't know who that is. Oh, you're right. That's not a Disney property. Um, censor that. Uh, parody. It's a parody, guys. Yeah. Like, you know, we like to make up characters in this LP because we're a little bit wacky. <laughs> I like to imagine new Disney characters. They're so rough on new ideas and money. I just feel like I need to help the little guy. Yeah, you know, this Shrek guy. He's just a man living in a swamp, and that's it, that's the bit, <laughs> and everyone loves it. Maybe he could vo be voiced like some by some kind of like popular comedian. Uh, what, like Daisy Diggs? I'm uh, thinking like Eddie, uh, Eddie Azard. Hmm. How about Carrot Top? <laughs> I think that guy's looking for work anywhere, so I'd be probably. Yeah, I mean, like, Carrot Top, he's been muscular for years, and I think if you live in a swamp, you're probably very muscular as well. It's true! You gotta fight your way through that mud all the time. But it's one thing yeah, people like, know about Carrot Top, he is very muscular. Have you not seen him recently? Yeah, yeah. He started getting have, super into bodybuilding. Really? Yeah, yeah, no, it's really disturbing if you look up pictures, like, he's got, like, the body of, like, a bodybuilder, and he's just got the face and, face and look of Carrot Top otherwise. I don't know how I'm going to be able to concentrate on Kingdom Hearts when I'm just thinking about the possibility of a buff Carrot Top. That's why I'm just Googling Carrot Top and how to find out. You know, like the... Like, basically, for those who are not familiar with Carrot Top, imagine, like, the Mad Magazine mascot, but he suddenly, like, <laughs> got 200 pounds of muscle. <laughs> Ooh, is it hot in here, or, uh... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just the humidity from the swamp that we're in. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this character, though. How, how viable could it really be to, like, hang all the marketing of an animated film on getting a popular comedian to play a side character? Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, we live in 2006, and I'm like... I'm very much into the idea that, like, we gotta keep the voice actors and the regular actors separated from each other. Right. Because, you know, those are, like, two dangerous worlds, and I fear a war would break out. <laughs> like, you know, there's gonna be a ting if that war breaks out. Where there's like a Trojan horse, and they're like, wait a second, this doesn't seem like a horse. But then Frank Welker does the horse noises, and they're convinced, and all of Hollywood is dead. Yeah, the trick is they put like a little peanut butter on the top of the Trojan horse's mouth to make it look like it was talking. I mean, they could just sound like anything at any time. <sighs> Gorge, I wonder how uh, beautiful, the bustling Agrabah, just like I remember it. With them. I remember those yeah, ten I crates. Oh, boy. Keep dreaming, you two. Come on, Donald, you were thinking the same thing. No, I wasn't. Oh my god, Iago, is our Iago our new par uh, par uh, partner for this world? Is he gonna fight with us? 
Wait, you got me all wrong! I'm not gonna spoil it, Sharps. You know me, if there's one thing I hate, it's spoilers. True. Whenever I read a walkthrough for a game, I get pissed off because it tells me what's coming up. I was stuck inside that lamp with your far, remember? When I finally escaped, then some things happened. And... So, free as a bird, huh? Captain! Gorge fillers? He looks pretty. Is it sensitive to say, like, free as a bird when Donald Duck is right there? I apologize to Aladdin and Jasmine. Could you guys maybe. What? How isn't he free? He's a citizen. He pays taxes. He fought in wars. I guess you're right. Watch out! So these banded harpers are kind of just regular melee harpers. They don't like have any reaction commands to them. They're like pretty decent at actually doing damage if they hit you, but like they're kind of manageable. Okay, yeah, it seems like they're pretty slow. Yeah, they have a lot of wind up to their attacks, and really, I only got hit there because I'm a major dummy. Right, and you're just moving around all crazy, showing off that you can fly. Where are they all coming from? <laughs> Poor Iago. <laughs> oh my god, he saved us. Maybe he is a hero. This way! <laughs> this is the exact same thing I do to prep up for every LP. <laughs> It's a big old softy. Goofy just sees the best in everyone. Yeah, yeah, he sure is. But remember, don't get on his dark side. <laughs> yeah, he'll fuck you up. <laughs> also, I'm sure it's unintentional, but I love that we walk into this still with our wizard form a costume on. You can see the cool flames on the uh, on the pants. Oh yeah, so that happens sometimes. I think whenever there's a cutscene that goes into another location, uh, it essentially like resets your drive form and gives you like all the gauges back. Oh. Jasmine. So it's a real handy oh, trick for speedrunners, probably. <laughs> I've never finished the speedrun to completion. Uh, watching, of course. Right. I'm, I'm, I never had the chance. I will to never say I'm before. good enough at this game to speedrun it. Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. But uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Uh, there was this one at HVQ during what with during right uh, which one of the donation go. goals was the speedrunner <laughs> just singing <laughs> Disney songs. Oh God. <laughs> And I couldn't finish it, and that tells a lot about me because that was like four years ago, and I'm still pissed off about it. I can still it. never watch another Kingdom Hearts speedrun. But that's why you love the game so much, they cut out all the songs. All the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. I think you might have egg on your face when we finished this LP in like 2022. Oh, please, no songs. That's right, where you make all of us sing the songs instead. Yeah, and then I'm gonna storm out of the Let's Play and never return. And I'll warn the guards and everyone in the palace. That's the thing, Iago's not. I mean, it's just a bird. What can he do? Look at him. Nice move. Maybe it's something you said. Uh, I don't know, he can, like, tell you his best 9-11 jokes the week after 9-11. <laughs> Gee, maybe we should go... Yeah, really, the issue is that he tried to get back as a comedian, but he just kept saying the most controversial shit. I wonder what he's been doing. But they don't even know what 9-11 is in Agrabah yet. It just makes sense. He's a bad comedian. <gasps> oh! A monkey! Um, there was this episode of Celebrity Y Swap with Gilbert Gottfried in it, and, like, he swapped with, like, 
Alan Tick's wife, and she was, of course, this, like, very, like, rich, upper-class lady, and he just messed with her the entire time by taking her to, like, a dollar store thing, (laughs) and then spending, like, three hours there. Uh, No hard feelings? That's the thing, sometimes you just can't get out of character. A boo? Oh, it's it's fantastic. It's probably the best e- episode of like any of the wife swaps. Gilbert Godfrey, in a lot of hey ways, guys, is like uh, Larry the Cable Guy. There, he just I can't get out of character; otherwise, he might lose what it. Mm-hmm. That's the sad you know, state of his existence. Keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> no talking your way out it. of this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is pretty funny. Whatever he said. <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you, you cheating on your wife? A uh, classic projection from Donald <laughs> Duck. <laughs> <laughs> bustling over here. It's just, it's just wild and crazy here. Just and I not up. stop. Action. I just wander the city, picking fights with people in the marketplace. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? What is Donald nice. so pissed about? <laughs> is he pissed that there wasn't like a cheating scandal? <laughs> Am I the only one? God. <laughs> It's the leg lamp from a Christmas story. Uh, I've never seen that one. That's the movie uh, where they get their tongue stuck at a pole for 90 minutes, right? right? Which, oddly enough, is also going to be the plot of this one, given that it's based on Aladdin 2, where that happens. Man, they make movies of everything nowadays. (laughs) Oh, speaking of, here's our body. Whoa! What the fuck? Well done. Where'd Aladdin learn to do that? Aladdin is, like, super souped up in this, and it's kind of a shame because uh, it still doesn't do a lot of damage. Ah. Also, we've got, like, these uh, white mage heartless here. Their big gimmick is that they go into an orb, and then with a reaction, you can, like, shoot the orb into other things. Damaging both the orb heartless and the one you're uh, throwing it. Oh, like a cool pinball thing. I don't think that's what pinball was all about. I don't think pinball. Cool. Okay, Maddie. Okay, I'm gonna have some harsh words with you. <laughs> In pinball, there is a thing known as wizard mode, and it is truly the closest a normal human being can come to being a wizard. Think about that for a second, Maddie. All Does involve right. a lot of orbs moving at incredible speed. <laughs> Don's just ready to spend the fucking Mickey Mouse's credit card on anything. Yeah, whatever. That guy's been gone for three years. <laughs> That credit card ain't getting used anymore. Now, how else are we gonna build up credit for the for the Disney Castle? I, I don't know. I think Donald has tanked this credit <laughs> score. <laughs> the entirety of Disney is now owned by the Bank of Freaking America. <laughs> So in this episode, Donald learns about marriage vows and property laws. 
<laughs> Turns out there's a lot you don't learn when you're in a monarchy. Just take the treasure. I mean, it's treasure. It's ours, right? No, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> it's owned by someone else. Huh? Whoa. Well, yeah. So I sped this up because it's mostly me gathering a bunch of treasures. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess if it's just out in the wild, it's probably okay to take. It is remarkable how much larger areas are allowed to be in this over the first game. <laughs> how much more open they've made places. Yeah, although I do kind of feel that without NPCs, a lot of this feels kind of empty at times. <laughs> yeah, a little bit for this. Like, this is a marketplace. They're closed. It's the Sabbath. <laughs> oh. Well, now it makes well, sense. Well, just like, I want to come back to my old friends. What's the Waka recaller up to these days? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, because in the first one, I think that there were like people at the stalls that would run away when the Heartless showed up. Um, they're only there after you like finish the. Oh uh, okay. It was like a really weird detail. <laughs> that was a little like secret for you to find once you'd beaten this. <laughs> so, uh, as well, this area introduces fat bandits, and they're honestly the same. As like they were King Hearts One, uh, they've just kind of got like the other fat heartless reaction command, and that's the only difference. Okay, it's still big, still very large. But yeah, still big, very large, uh, kind of a pain in the ass. Still, oh, I hate rugs. Quit wrecking the stalls. There'll be a place after you're done, not a marketplace. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's how we need to get Mickey Mouse's credit card debt off of us. We need to invest in this economy, and then tank it. And then sell it when it's high again. What a scam. No more of this free market stuff. Mm-hmm. I think we can all learn from a little guy called George W. Bush <laughs> all about <laughs> doing this shit. We can learn from his father, too, and that we're going to puke on a diplomat to get their stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why the Sultan isn't in this world. He's covered in it. <laughs> that's why Aladdin had to leave for the streets. <laughs> you and me both, Goofy. Donald is one <laughs> mean-looking guy. Oh. <laughs> Donald! <laughs> As you know, my greed is large and just unsatiable. Okay. I'll say it's that Donald Duck. He's a bit of a freak on a leash. <laughs> Finally That's getting sure. to the plot arc where Donald starts handing out subprime mortgages. <laughs> so we can repackage them as securities for sale. <laughs> Can't believe the Donald subplot will end with him tanking real estate in Agrippa. This is it! It happens. Not the cave wonders is open. Missed that place. I'm glad that they're done right of. Like it always sucks when one of your favorite places is like, ah, oh, we gotta like rebrand ourselves. Yeah, it turns out now this is just like a pawn stop, a pawn store. <laughs> yeah. The famous Chumley from the Pawn Stars is in oh there. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, forget hiring comedians to be the voice actors. What if we just hired, like, uh, reality TV stars? All the Pawn Stars. <laughs> Not at all. I may be in 2006, but I think those might be bad optics in the future. <laughs> Okay, so these are uh, fortune tellers. They are an aerial uh, archers that shoots projectiles at you. All of the projectiles can be guarded back in them. They also have a reaction command that starts at a count them from uh, 3 to 1. 
and it freezes you when that's done. But because they have such a small HP pool, I have encountered it once in my life. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it's not tough. Yeah. If I have the time, I'll probably add it in a clip or something. <laughs> don't hold Whoa. it against me if I don't do hers. Man, the lad has a lot of cool moves, but you said he's, like, pretty weak? Oh, that's kinda all the allies here. At most, they're good for crowd control, like, keeping people off of you. It's really only the, like, ally limits that do, like, any amount of damage. Mm, sure. Plus, they don't want to make you feel bad. You're, like, a child, so they're like... Oh, I gotta make sure Sora feels important. I disagree, Chirps. I'm a grown adult, I'm 45 years old, and as I've mentioned before, I own my own house. <laughs> That's right! I forgot you were a boomer, I'm sorry. That's right. You know, this fr you're such a freaking millennial because you forget everything because you're smoking so much weed all the time. That's right. I don't have my smartphone with me, so I don't have my notes. <laughs> What's a smartphone? <laughs> That's right, you only like dumb phones? I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I own one of those Nokias and I've never said goodbye to it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll, say, I'll like ask Siri to do something, you'll be like, is that your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, recently in the new Windows, they added something called Cortana, and I'm like, ah, uh, is that a star or something? No, for your friend. It's a gamer thing. For gamers. Oh. Okay, what's that? Ah, uh, some kind of bread. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know anything about that, because as a boomer, I only eat gruel. <laughs> Abu, you absolute fool. You know, I like this, though. Like, they set up Donald's insatiable greed, but they've uh, subverted expectations by making Abu the one who uh, causes us to die here. I think you're reading a little bit too much into this. Hell, I think you're adding the dreaded politics to this game. <laughs> Which, you know, th this game isn't, because it doesn't have a go with blue hair in it. <laughs> God, Abu's got some pops. I'm impressed. So is that particularly difficult, or do you just mash triangle on him to make him go? No, it's very easy. It's literally just, you tell him to go sometimes, and you tell him to jump. Cool. There are a lot of, like, weird minigame diversions in this game that aren't very hard, and I think they're mostly just there for variety's sake rather than being an actual challenge. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. You know, this is kind of a set-piece game, and so you need, in general, a lot of variety to keep the set-pieces fresh. Plus, in the side games, you learn that Sora's dream was always to train a chimp anyways. Mm-hmm. And Abu's not one of those, but it's close enough. Alright, so we have a new limit as well here, that Comet. So, uh, Donald Duck just fires, like, fireworks in front from every triangle press, and after you the sixth one, he fires off a uh, 360 degree arc of fireworks. Okay, and what's going on here with the, the floors dropping? Okay, so this is like a time thing. It's essentially just the gown fluid where you have to clear, like, the enemies of each floor and then slow you come down until you're essentially on the ground floor. Okay. Or the first floor for all you Americans out there. Right. Oh, I think I see it. 
Yeah. Uh, whenever I'm in Europe and I'm in an elevator, I see the ground floor and I think, oh, I'm already underground. What's this all about? You mean lift, good friend, not elevator, please? Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make it up to you by saying bloody this video. <laughs> You'll be like, ah, oh, Jafar, who may or may not be in this video, it's such a pain in the arse. <laughs> yeah. Wow, also, that's pretty nasty to be like, if you miss this puzzle piece, you have to do this whole gauntlet again. Uh, that's the puzzle pieces sometimes. Cool. I think it's your punishment for caring about puzzle pieces anyway. You just, ah, here you go. Too bad you missed it. Have fun. Hey, what can I say as a boomer? <laughs> Besides, you know, this one video game, creating puzzles is my divine pleasure. <laughs> Gotta say, they weren't wrong though. Plenty of wonders in here. Oh yeah, this is definitely a world where once you leave it, you go, Ah, it's so wonderful! <laughs> This really is the nicest place on Earth. Wow. <laughs> Donald is loving it. Oh yeah, that sick freak stinking of paying off his mortgage. <laughs> Finally, my gambling debts are gone. There, that one should do it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Pete took so long because he took the stairs instead of the uh, the lift, like us. Sure looks valuable. Yeah, he saw like their ground floor button and he got confused and so mad he wandered out. <laughs> we gotta keep Jafar bottled up, or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. <laughs> Oh my god, Donald, no, you're green! <laughs> Snap out of it, Donald! You know, I'm glad for one that Nomura is one of the few Christian game developers who knows about the Seven Sins <laughs> and puts them all into one character, Donald Duck. Yeah? You know, it really goes to show off how learned he is. That's why, by the end of the series, Donald gets sent to hell for his sins. Mm -hmm. Before this game, no one ever read Dante's Inferno, no one knew what the fuck it was about. But after this, people are like, aha, Dante! I mean, you can't spell Dante without several of the letters from Donald's battle. Are these little guys just, like, bombs? No, so you've got, like, the Ice Cube and the little, like, Fire Rock, Heartless. They're, like, relatively weak melee heartlesses that, like, are immune to the respective elements. Oh, okay. As well, we have Aladdin's limit, which is a limit which starts with both Al and Sora hitting every enemy near them. <laughs> After that, it goes into these homing attacks. Whoa! And then it does that. Uh, the first two types of attacks come enemies that drop HP orbs, and the last, like, finisher causes them to drop drive orbs. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a neat way to recover, like, some of your drive or HP if ever needed. Honestly, you're, I assume, for the most part, you're mostly going to be using it for, like, the drive, because... Until these guys, it isn't actually that tough a gauntlet. Whew. Let's go! 